After you create and set up your ConvertKit account, you're gonna come to the dashboard that looks like this. The first thing I wanna show you is how to send an email with ConvertKit. Let's go to Send and let's click on Broadcasts. Then let's click on New Broadcast and then it will show you a plain email. You can also, on the right, click on Browse Templates and it will show you a bunch of templates that you can choose. I'm just gonna select a plain one. Let's change the subject. With ConvertKit, you can do A-B testing. This means that you can use two different subject lines and it will send some emails with the first uh, subject line and some other emails with the second one and you can test which one works the best for you. Let's add the content of the email. To add more features to your email, you just have to click the plus button that appears on the left and then it will show you a bunch of options. You can add buttons, uh, headings, personalizations, images, or a lot of other things. I first want to add a personalization. I want my email to have the subscriber's first name to be more warm and direct. You can also add links. I want to link this word to my video. So let's select the word and add the link. And every subscriber that clicks the link, it's going to be tagged with this tag that I created before. Then I want to add an image, so I'm going to click the plus button, scroll and select image, and I'm going to upload a new image. And then on the right, we can edit it. We can link it to our website or any external page. We can change the width, crop it, we can change the borders or the alignment. I'm just going to change the size. I want it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to change the alignment. I want it to the left. I'm going to link this image to my video too, and I'm going to add that caption. We just click on caption, we can add it, and then when we're happy with our email, we can click continue on the bottom right corner. Then it will give us two options, to send the email or to publish the web. I want to send the email. Let's check the settings. This can send this email to all subscribers or to a certain group of contacts. I want to add a filter and to send them to all the contacts that have this specific tag. You can also schedule the time. You can send it now or schedule to send it later. And in advanced options, you can also add a preview text. When we're happy with our email and our settings, we can click continue in the bottom right corner. Then let's check that everything is okay. Then let's click on send broadcast. And that's it. We sent our first email with ConvertKit. Let's go to grow on the top left corner and click on subscribers. Then let's click on Add Subscribers and it will give you three options. Add a single subscriber, import a CSV file or import from another device. I'm going to import a CSV file. You just click it, select a tag and import your file. Let's select our fields and let's click on Import Subscribers. Now I want to show you how to create a landing page. Let's go to Grow and then let's click on Landing Pages and Forms. Then we're going to click on Create New. And now we're going to click on landing page. The purpose of a landing page is to get more contacts and grow your audience. In order to do that, usually you'll have to give them something in exchange for them to subscribe. For example, here I'm giving them a free YouTube course. Once you click on landing page, it will show you a bunch of templates and you can select the one that you like the most. I'm just going to select a plain one. First, we're going to name our landing page. Let's click on the top left corner and rename it. To edit the content, you just have to click on the block you want to edit and just change it. And on the right, you can change the font color, font size, font weight, and letter spacing, just as before. Then let's click on general styles and I want to change the background. So let's scroll and on background, I'm going to delete the image and upload a new one. I want this one. And right now we cannot read the title. So let's change the transparency and put it a little bit darker. And now we can read it. Now let's change the content. First, I want to change the bottom, so I'm going to click on the bottom. And on the right, I'm going to change the background color. And now let's change the content of our landing page. I want to add a new field because I want to know more about my subscribers. So let's click on the plus button and it will add a new field. And then on the right, on custom field, let's select first name. Let's drag it to the top. As a default, on the bottom it says 2020. Let's update that to be 2024. You could say it, and that's it. You can also add a page. Let's click on Add a page, and this will be a thank you page. So let's change the title, 
and let's save it on the top right corner. Then let's go to settings. Let's see general settings. When you get a new subscriber, it will automatically show them this message or you can redirect them to your thank you page that we just created or we can redirect them to an external page. Let's say our YouTube course or our website. Here we can add our custom domain. It could be the one that ConvertKit give us or it could be our own website an incentive like i said in order for get new subscribers i'm giving them a free youtube course so uh, this will automatically send them uh, an email or i can redirect them directly to my course or i can show them a file for them to download we can edit the automatic email just as before in edit email contents let's edit it and then when we're happy with our email, let's click save on the bottom right corner. And then we have SEO and analytics. We can connect our landing page to our Google Analytics, Facebook business, Pinterest, or any other software or program that we have. Then when we're happy with our landing page, we go to the top right corner, click on save, and then click on publish. It will give us a link. And then let's test it out. Let's copy it and go to Google. And here is our landing page live. Now I want to show you how to create a form. Let's go again to grow and then let's click on landing pages and forms. Then we're going to click on create new and then let's click on form. There are a few options. There's inline. It's like a embedded form in your website. Then there's model that is like a pop-up form. Then there is a slide in, it will show up in one of the corners or there is a sticky bar that it will show up on the top or, or the bottom. I'm going to select inline. Then it will show you a bunch of templates and you can select the one that fits you the most. I'm just going to select a plain one. Now let's design our form. First, we're going to name it on the top left corner. Let's click it and change the name. And then let's edit the content. To edit it, we just have to click the block that we want to change. For example, here I'm going to change the title and on the right we can change the font color, the font size or the font weight. Then let's change the content and then I want a new field. I want to ask people for more information. So I'm going to click on the plus button and it's going to add a new field. I want to change the order. So in, on the left, I'm going to click it and drag it to the top. And then on the right section, I'm going to select a custom field and I want to ask for their first name. So I'm going to click on first name and there it is. Now I want to change the bottom. So I'm going to click it and on the right, I'm going to change the background color. You can also change the font color or the borders or the font weight. Then let's go to settings. First, in general, when you get a new subscriber, uh, this will show them an automatic message that will say this, but you can also redirect them to an external page. Then there is incentive. The purpose of a form or a landing page is to get new subscribers and grow your audience. In order to do this, usually we give them something in exchange. So here in incentive, this is promising to send them something once they subscribe. In this case, I promise to give them a free course for them to start their YouTube channel. We can send an incentive email, like an automatic email once they sign up. We can redirect them to a different page, like we can redirect them to the course directly. I could show them the, the course as a file and they can download it. Here, I want to send an incentive email. We can also edit this email. Let's change the subject. To edit anything in the email, you just have to click it. And then on the right, you can change the background color, the text, the size. And then when we're happy with our email, let's click save. On the top right corner, we can save our form. And then we can click publish. ConvertKit will give us several options. It will give us JavaScript, HTML, Share, WordPress, or Unbound. I'm going to select HTML. It will give us a code. Uh, this code, we can copy it, and then we can go to our website, and then we can just paste it, and it will automatically add the form to our website. And that's how you create a form. Now I want to show you how to create a tag. On the right, let's scroll and click on create a tag. A tag is a way of identifying and organizing your contacts. You can send specific emails to a specific contacts and save. We can also create a segment. A segment is a group of tags. This also works for 
um, identifying and organizing your contacts. You can send specific emails to a specific a group of contacts. The ConvertKit's free plan will let you send one automatic email once uh, you get a new subscriber. But if you want to send multiple, you'll have to go to Send, click on Sequences, and then click on New Sequence. To send more than one automated email, you'll have to upgrade your plan. If you want to learn more about automations, that's a more advanced feature. You can check out this video here.